All right, guys, it's Byron from Modern Muscle here. Uh, today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about uh, rod bearing options that we offer. Uh, this will be a part of another series of videos about dropping pistons and rod installation kind of tips and tricks and answering some questions of stuff that, uh, you know, things that get messed up easily and the common questions that we have. So, uh, here we have our instruction sheet that's going to come in your drop and piston and rod kit. Uh, in here, there's a pretty good paragraph about the rod bearings, and it's very important that you pay attention and read that because there is a very specific orientation that the rod bearings, you know, need to go. Now, as a standard option, when you buy the Modern Muscle Extreme Drop-In Piston and Rods, they do not come with any sort of a bearing. That That is for people that want to source their own bearings or shops that want to do that. So my recommendation would be that you buy the, uh, the coated rod bearing upgrade and also the premium tri-metal main bearing upgrade. It's actually the bearing that's used in the Hellcat engine. It's a lot, uh, it'll take a lot more abuse than like the just straight up aluminum bearing that uh, comes in like a 6.4 or a 5.7. So in your kit, most likely, uh, and little disclaimer this, we QC every set of rods that comes through here as far as for a big end size. Um, just to more accurately be able to give you the correct combination of bearings and typically the rods are within a couple tenths of each other um, but obviously there are some batches that may come through a little tight or a little loose and we'll need to adjust the bearing uh, set up to that so 99% of you guys are going to get um, if you buy the the bearing upgrade obviously you're going to get a cb 1808 hn and a cb 1808 hxn okay and the designation for that the 1808 is a chrysler bearing um, and then the hx is an extra clearance bearing it's going to give you about five tenths of extra bearing clearance and typically this is what you're going to need on a with a factory crankshaft and the modern muscle extreme drop-in pistons and rods Okay, and then the H bearing is a standard Chrysler bearing size, but because it has this coating on it, uh, you know, clearance is reduced, and we want to be sure that you guys have, you know, enough main bearing, or enough rod bearing clearance, rather. So, um, obviously, what you're going to want to do in each box, there's going to be an upper and a lower bearing. Okay, whether or not you have H's or HX bearings, but most likely you're going to get one box of H bearings and one box of HX bearings. Okay, in each box there's going to be an upper and a lower bearing. Alright, so now that you know a little bit about uh, the H and the HX rod bearing, I'm going to show you uh, in each box there's actually going to be an upper bearing and a lower bearing. Okay. Now, this can get very confusing because you have two different part numbers of bearing and then you have two different uh, designations as far as upper and lower in each box. And this is where I lose a lot of people. I try to make it clear in the instructions, but sometimes it's just better to hear it, you know, hear it in person that way you kind of know what you're dealing with. So, the camera's not going to want to focus here, but the bearing is marked with the part number. It'll say H or HX on it. And it also has upper or lower right under the part number and what you're going to want is in each bearing or in each connecting rod rather you're going to want one hx bearing and one h bearing to give you the proper rod bearing clearance okay now also where it gets confusing you still need to have the upper and the lower so in each rod you're going to want an upper bearing with the lower half in its proper orientation so I'll pull a connecting rod apart here real quick. Okay, now this, the cap side, is the lower portion. So we have a bearing here. It is a CB1808H bearing, so this would be a standard size bearing, and it is marked lower. So we would want to take our rod bearing cap, our rod bearing, and H lower and then we'll put it into our rod cap just like so and this is a coated bearing okay and then this is going to be our connecting rod side this was going to be the upper portion so in this case I have uh, an 1808 HX obviously it's going to be hard for you to see that again but this is an upper bearing very important once again 
we're going to install that and then obviously we'll put our rod cap back onto our connecting rod and we have one H bearing and one HX bearing. Hopefully I've made that clear enough for you guys to understand. It is a little confusing. Maybe the directions will be a little bit easier for you to understand. Um, the thing is, you're not always going to have an H upper and an HX lower. It could be an HX upper and an H lower. So it gets really confusing. But uh, once again, you just need very important to pay attention to the orientation of the bearing and then uh, make sure you have the proper clearance. Okay, and that's going to lead us into proper rod bearing clearance on Modern Muscle Extreme drop-in pistons and rods. Uh, what you're going to want is, because it's a coated bearing, you can run a little bit tighter clearance, so no less than one and a half thousandths bearing clearance, and no more than uh, two and a half thousandths. All right, because it's coated bearing, we really wouldn't like to see any uh, more than two and a half thousandths bearing clearance, and then obviously you can get away with one and a half thousandths bearing clearance two is going to be your optimal range that's where you're going to want to hit is about two thousandths bearing clearance you're always going to be safe at two thousandths bearing clearance you're not, never going to have to worry about it being too loose or too tight so uh, the best way to measure rod bearing clearance is going to be a dial bore gauge now if you've never seen one of those looks like this um, and what you're actually going to do is you're going to take a micrometer, measure your uh, rod bearing journal, and then you'll take this and put inside of the micrometer, and then you'll zero this out. And then once you have torqued up your connecting rod to the proper torque spec, uh, you know, with the proper bearings installed, then you will be able to measure it and it will tell you exactly how much bearing clearance you have. Now, a lot of you guys are not going to have one of these. They can be had pretty cheap, you know, uh, roughly 75 to 100 bucks for a Chinese one, and that's absolutely better than nothing. I'd rather have that than you not measure it. And then at the bare minimum, you can go to the auto parts store and get a plastic gauge. That'll at least tell you, once again, that you're more than one and a half thousandths and you're less than two and a half thousandths. And most of the time with these, uh, you're going to hit that two thousandths bearing clearance mark, you know, as long as you have installed them properly once again.